All right, I just wanted to shoot a quick tip video on a 4R70W series transmissions. And this pretty much goes for 04 and up that use this molded piston for the intermediate clutch. <clears throat> All right, there is a set of springs and, and there's different variations. And the springs can only go in one way. And I wanna show you how the springs go in. So when you install the piston, you know where basically to put the check ball so it will not interfere with the return springs. All right, and I'm seeing this for some reason a lot lately, and these are transmissions that have been rebuilt either at a shop or maybe at a facility and shipped out somewhere as a, as a reman transmission. So I wanna show you how the springs sit in the pump so you know again where to put the piston because when I took this one apart that I'm rebuilding and then the one prior to this I think I saw the same thing and I said what the heck's going on you know so I says let me just make a quick tip video for the do-it-yourselfers out there that uh, want to try to tackle one of these transmissions because it's really not a bad transmission to work on and I just want to make you aware of this so the piston sits in the pump and then the springs go in between they go against the uh, the clutch the last steel in the case and of course sit in here like this so I just want to show you how to line it up in the pump uh, on the bench so you can uh, put this in here say okay so this is where my springs are gonna go so let me Make sure the check ball goes in this location here so it doesn't interfere with the return springs. All right, and I'll give you a close-up shot of this because obviously when I took this out, they had the check ball right here and they pushed down on it. And then as the springs are working, it just bends it up. So I figured, you know, seeing this a couple times, uh, of course, on more than one occasion, I do want to just kind of put a quick tip out there. All right, so you have this kind of springs, and then there's also another one that has just little, a, a little indent for the check ball to go. So that would have to really be lined up precisely, and I could show you how to do that. And then on the and then on the later ones, you may just have a wave steel that sits right on top of the piston, so that you wouldn't have to worry about. There's a few different kinds, so. I'm in the middle of building this uh, for stock because uh, we may have one possibly coming in amongst all the other things I got going on here. So it's pretty pretty busy here. So I got a ProMaster on the lift right now that I want to finish this today is a 62 TE. I have a 6HP26 valve body that had that 5088 code. And I just got the TCM or the Mechatronic unit back from Europe that I send it to to install the new rain switch. I have an 8-speed transmission valve body, 8HP45 on the bench, uh, shorted solenoid. And when the, uh, that actually got stuck in park with the shorted solenoid. So I got the solenoid kit coming. So I'm waiting on that. I got a U660 out of a 2012 Lexus. I got the cases here. I got the transmission here. And I have a ZF6HP19 from another shop, uh, from a BMW shop that pulled it out, pulled the valve body off, and brought me the rest of the transmission apart to install a bushing kit and check the rest of the clutches and, and stuff like that. And also the pump was no good, so I'm mobile holding the pump for them as well. So it's pretty busy here. Thank God and there's still much more to do and transmissions to come out and just a lot to do. All right, so let me get a little closer and what I'll do is kind of show you where this sits in the pump so you know where to put the piston so the check ball does not interfere, you know, with, with any of these return springs and I'll give you a close-up shot of this one that whoever built this transmission last you know just popped the piston in and popped the springs in it didn't bother to check and you know that that's what happened so I'll show you how to do it correctly 
and I will get a little closer. I will be right back. All right, so before we get into the showing you where this goes in the pump, I just want to give you a close up shot of this. So here is the check ball right here in this piston. All right, and this is how I found the return springs. You can see this right here. This is was sitting right on top of the check ball. Okay, so the pump is together, and how I identify the 12 o'clock position of the pump is I go by this hole, this blank hole right here. All right, so this, which a bolt goes in to tighten down to hold the pump, is the 12 o'clock position of the pump. All right, so this piece right here, okay, so you got a couple of tabs, and then you got one with the U cut out. That goes in the 12 o'clock position of the pump. All right, so let me just kind of turn this here so you can see. So this is how the springs are going to sit in the pump. All right, so you have a set here, a set here, and a set here. And this also, you know, will go into the case, of course, so these springs can't turn. I have the empty case. I can show you how it sits in the case. So once you know that, you can say, all right, let me put the check ball in this <clears throat> right here. Well, let me put it right here so you know where to go instead of just plopping it in, putting the springs in, and then, you know, this is your result. All right, so I just wanted to share that this tip with you guys so when you're working on it, and again, there are different variations of this, uh, you'll know how to set this in place to know where the piston goes. All right, so again, this is the 12 o'clock position, and this blank hole right here is how I determine that. All right, so now let me just grab the case and I'll show you how it sits in the case. So that's how it's gonna sit in, and of course, as you put it in the case, you would put it in this way and then the pump would go in. Okay, so just give me one second. Let me get the case up here, and I'll show you that. And again, just a quick tip video. All right, case is on the bench, 12 o'clock position at the top. All right, here is the tab with the notch in it, the little cutout, and that is gonna go right in the 12 o'clock position when you install it into the case. All right, and then you go ahead and put your pump on, your pump gasket, and then install the pump. All right, so I just want to do a quick tip video so you see where the springs sit so you can install the piston correctly so it does not interfere, the check bolt does not interfere with any of these return springs and you don't get this right here. All right, for R70W series transmissions, to bas basically 2004 and up uh, takes the molded piston. All right, but again, there are different variations. There's these springs. Uh, there's one that you don't have to worry about. Then there's another one that has the little, just a little, a little notch for the check bolt to go into. So you'll have to, you know, line that up real good. All right. So that is it. I thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, and we will see you next one.